we just uh, have to stop the camera every like 30 minutes. Yeah, so the sure. 25 is like a marker. It's like we don't need to exactly stop at yeah. that time, but just try to uh, whatever we're talking about, like wrap gotcha. ra- ra- it up then. Hey, you know what I mean? We'll wrap it up then. Yeah, roll it. So pretty, got a man, got you like Lindsay. Says she fucking with me, making drives across the city. Swear this shit can get too lit, yeah. Pushing be like Diddy, you ain't B boy, who you kidding, yeah. At the top, I see you there. In LA, I see you there. At the space, I see you there. To the state, I see you there. I know y'all go crazy, I be turning up up in the square. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Back. We're here with another episode of PCT with a very special guest, the one and only Stacks Go! Go. What's going on, boy? How you doing? Thank, thank you guys for having me. I'm good. How are you, man? Of course, of course. Great. Um, let, let, let's get right into the intros and shit. Sorry, I kind of skipped over that. Uh, thank you for, uh, ha- you know, I got a little excited. You know, it's a, we have a very special guest. So, uh, but yeah, no, uh, thanks for listening and watching to the podcast. Really do appreciate it. Uh, we actually just hit like 200 subs on YouTube, oh, yeah. so shout out to every single one of y'all. Uh, we're going to be posting clips more consistently and being more active on IG and, you know, just trying to get ex- get more exposure, brand exposure and shit like that. So, uh, but yeah, thank you all so much for listening and watching the pods. Uh, you know, stay on the lookout for the fast lane. Shout out to Alex and uh, the Let's Plays for uh, The Last of Us. Shout out to Zay. And uh, yeah, I mean, I guess we could just get right into it. Oh, uh, here with my beautiful co-host Zachary Make and the one and only Alex. Uh, you know, he decided to just hop in front of the camera yeah. today. Bless How are you doing, Alex? I'm good. I'm good. Thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah. I had to seize the opportunity, right? Course, you know, with the DC, you know. What I'm yeah, saying? yeah, absolutely. Uh, welcome. And then, like we went over earlier, the one and only Stacks go. How are you doing today, sir? I'm great. I'm great. Doing great. Doing good. Hell yeah! Thanks for hopping on. Um, I guess we could. You know, jump right into it. Uh, so you were saying, uh, shout out to Sai. Yeah, that was how yeah. you actually found out about shout us. Out but to Cy, shout out to ZD. Yeah, ZD. They, uh, yeah. Besides the main reason, I was like asking around for podcasts, and he hit me up. Hmm. And he was like, "Yo, go on part car talks." And I'm like, "All right, bet." Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout, yeah. shout out to uh, yeah. Sai. You know, we're definitely gonna get you on soon. Uh, shout out to ZD, like he said as well. Uh, you know, he's doing big things now, trying to make yeah. some moves. Uh, but yeah, I guess going into. Uh, more of uh, who you are as an artist and Man. stuff like that. Uh, kind of give us a little background and uh, where are you from and you know how, how you came to who you are today. Man, I'm 22 from uh, I'm from Flint. Uh, I started I really started rapping though like when I came here to Austin in 2016. Um, that's like really when I started. Bro, I went through like six names before I came up with Stacks. Really? <laughs> really? Yeah. Cause like one day I was just like I said it as an ad lib. And I was like, oh, that's kind of hard. That's hard. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And then, and then I said it, or I said, yeah, I said it at the beginning of my songs, like how I do in every song. And yeah. it's kind of like, cause the reason I did it though, it's kind of like, or I didn't do it because of this, but I was like, you know how DJ Khaled has like, we the best music? Yes. And like, he screams. I was like, you know what? That's like my tag. Yeah. Like, producers got tags, yeah. but I was like, I'm going to do my You're tag. You're going to have an artist tag. Type yeah. Shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So I was like, I will do that. But mm. um, yeah, nah, it's been, it's been a journey. Um. It's been a lot of finding myself and finding myself like in the music that I want to make in my mm. lane. Um, like you know, I used to do a lot of hard, like hard music. But yeah. I, like I don't really do that no more. Yeah. Like my next album that I'm doing is gonna be like some Don Tolliver two C type stuff. Mm. Yeah. yeah okay. I don't know. Like I'm trying to think. I'm trying to look at it. Like I'm a business. Yeah. I got to take care of myself, and I got to you know with how dangerous the rap game is if you try to. Put yourself out there like yeah. that, you know, people are going to test you. So yeah, it's like, absolutely. I got to feed my family, so I got to stay alive. So yeah. I was like, you know, I'm just going to switch it up. Absolutely. Yeah. So I guess going, you know, going back a little bit, you said you're originally from Flint. Yeah. Uh, how was that? How was growing up in Flint? And <clears throat> I'll tell you what, you definitely see some stuff. It definitely makes you appreciate what you got, you know, like, because I, I definitely had it a lot better than a lot of my friends and a lot of people that I knew went to school with. Mm-hmm. Um, just being in Flint, like, do you guys remember when the water thing happened? Yeah, like, absolutely. Yeah, 
that was that was you know my friend JD. Um, shout out to you, boy. He's been my friend since probably seventh grade. Um, he got real sick, thought they had cancer. He was in the hospital, in and out of school. It was bad, but now nah, he's good now. But mm -hmm. I mean, that's just like it was really bad at one point. And yeah. then, um, like it's just you know, it used to be number one most dangerous city in America. Like mm -hmm. homicide rates are crazy. So. My mom never really liked me going out, you know, mm. or I'd go to my grandma's like halfway across the you know the town, yeah, and then go out with my friends there. But yeah, it was um, it definitely changes you as a person and makes you appreciate life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, got you, got you. Kind of walk us through like you know your whole like childhood, like a little bit like you know. Man, that's a story. Yeah, um, I kind of yeah, I'll, I'll pick I'll pick some pieces that you know really matter. Mm. Um, I was born in Connecticut. Uh -huh. oh, yeah, shit. I lived there until I was five. My mom, my dad, they never got married, so um, they went through some stuff. Five years old, me and my mom moved to Michigan because that's where her mom was, my grandma. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, yeah, we moved there. And then, like, from, like, five to 16, just went through a bunch of stuff in Michigan, did my school in, like, sophomore years when I moved to California and then moved here. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, I mean, just childhood mostly with my, like, bouncing between my grandma's and my mom's, uh, shoot. My mom, man, me and my mom's relationship, even now, is very, uh, it's a love-hate. Because she wants the best for me, but she also be trying to still control me. Like, you know, I'm 22 years old, so it's, it's yeah. just not. And she has some trouble with that still. Mm. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, no, nah, love you though, Ma. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, nah, you know, it's just, yeah, it's been a lot of stuff that I've been through definitely made me who I am today and just appreciative of what I got. Absolutely. Yeah. So I guess, uh, you know, going more to when you were younger and stuff like that, was music always a part of your life or what made you start getting interested in that? Bro, yes. So when I, me and my mom used to have a little flip book, we'd have the CDs and everything in there. Mm. I'd always <laughs> choose Outkast. Oh, Bro, really? <laughs> Outkast is the reason that I like my passion for music. Really? Andre 3000, yeah, bro. Yeah. I remember I did a, um, a thing on TikTok and I chose Andre 3000 over somebody in like this rapper bracket and mm -hmm. everybody in my comments was it's like- going crazy. Yeah, like Andre 3000. I'm like, bro, Andre 3000 is paved cold. The way. Yeah, he cold, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, but yeah, no, Outkast was like the main reason. I used to, um, Hey Ya used to be mm. my favorite, favorite song, bro. That's an anthem. Yes, yeah. it really is, <laughs> Absolutely, bro. yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, it used to be, man. Yeah, and that's the main reason that I started music, or like that's got I interested into it. So yeah. was it like what made you? Uh, it's like how it made me feel. Yeah, yeah. I was I gonna don't say, know, like it just like when I listen to music, it just like my brain just I don't know, it's soothing. You yeah, know? Mm -hmm. and like, well, I mean, it just like made you happy. Or yeah, bro. Like, it just put you in a better mood and stuff. Always, because I was always in like as a kid too. I used to like put on these little talent shows for my parents every night. Really? My grandparents. Yeah, bro. I used to love Michael Jackson too. So like Ooh, okay. I'd go out there and dance like Michael Jackson and yeah, bro. So like, you've, you've always kind of been like an entertainer in a, in a yeah. sense. But yes, but I've always hated the spotlight. Like I hate, like bro, I don't want to be famous, yeah. but I love doing this music stuff. So it's like, I know it comes with it. Yeah. And like, you know, I just got to take advantage of being in that, you know? Yeah. yeah. So I guess... You know, uh, you know, speaking on that a little bit more, you, you, you I feel like we, I'm like the same way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't really care to like be in the limelight and be like getting all the credit for stuff, but right. you know, doing a podcast or trying to build something up, it kind of comes with it. Right. So I guess like, how do you, how do you go about dealing with that exactly? Cause I mean, kind of like I said a little bit earlier about like, um, making myself like I'm a business so I gotta make myself presentable and not trying to be in the beef and all the other stuff and mm -hmm. like just keep myself alive that's kind of where it ties into cause like I don't know it's you just wanna oh, where's I going with that I was definitely going somewhere with it what's the question you asked me again how, like how do you go about dealing with like not wanting it? to be in the limelight yeah, but yeah. cause like I don't know cause I mean now that I like that's what's going to come with it. Yeah. I got to put on the best. And for like the people that watch me, like I've always wanted to be someone people looked up to. I was always mm -hmm. a leader. And so like, if I'm going to be in the spotlight and I'm going to be someone that people see all the time, I got to, I got to put on some type of yeah. good energy good and influence. like motivation for the kids yeah. and the youth. Yeah. Cause like coming from Flint, tying this back into that, like mm -hmm. bro, there's no guidance. Yeah. Like, yeah. I was, is there, there's no guidance, bro. I was, is there, there isn't anyone from like Flint that has like made it out or um, I was, I I'm not really tapped well, into Rio, the Rio, mm -hmm. the young OG, um, RMC Mike. Mm -hmm. Um, there's this new dude named Babyface E. He's on the rise. Like, 
he's been going crazy lately. Mm. Um, but yeah, he's so there. There is like a yeah, cu- yeah. But but th- that's the difference between me and them is that like the reason I had to get out of there was because the music I was making is not what they is. That's not my geographical attraction. Yeah. So I had like I had to get up out of there and come back here and um like because out there you know everybody's about scamming guns shooting murders all that stuff and like. That's not what I want to, like, I, I need to show Flint that there's more to it. There's mm. more to the world than just Flint, Michigan. Yes. You know? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So um, that's kind of why I'm changing up. Like, bro, like, the new year came around, like, a little bit before the new year came around. I went and, I like, being the bigger man, I hit up some people that I had some beef with and, like, squashed it, tried to squash it with some people. But, you know, some people just, they're still stuck on to that. Yeah. yeah. It is what it is, though. Yeah. Yeah, I guess, uh, you know, going back to you saying, <laughs> like, you you know, that's not the image you were wanting to portray anymore. Is that kind of just how, not, I wouldn't say Flint, but is that just how like Michigan is for the music scene wise? Is it? Bro, yeah. If you, bro, I don't think there's a single rapper out there that promotes good stuff. And it's not even good stuff because it's it's music. So you can rap, you know, it's entertainment at the end of the day. But like, nah, I, you know, I've never been really heavy on Michigan rap, but it definitely is definitely becoming an influence in the rap game for sure. Yeah, I feel but like it's on the rise right it, now. It is, you know, with Baby trying and stuff like that. But, yeah. Um, I don't know. They, they definitely all kind of rap about the same stuff. Mm-hmm. And it's not something that, and that's why, but that's why Flint and Detroit will remain how it is because we're not uplifting each other. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I don't work with people in Flint because everybody is just grimy. Like, everybody's mm-hmm. against everybody. You don't have a community. Yeah, that's the issue. Yeah, you know? yeah. So I guess uh, go, going in, you know, you, obviously you're in Austin now. Yep. Um, when when did you move down here, and would you say that's been like an influence on like the music you've been making lately? Um, <clears throat> I moved down here in 2016 with my dad, uh, and that's when I started making music was 2016. But mm-hmm. I, like, I didn't really start taking it serious until like 2019, 2020. Mm-hmm. But um, I wouldn't say had an influence um it just showed me more that i could do it Mm -hmm. and it's possible because around 2018 2019 was when i started like being around quinn and Mm -hmm. like that's what kind of made that connection so like um i wouldn't say like we're close now like that but you know if i like i go to the studio he goes to when we see each other you know dap him up you know yeah it's it's love but um yeah so like when i seen him and he blew up with talking my shit Mm -hmm. i was like all right like this can actually happen yeah and so ever since then i've just been um just Trying to give my locked in, yeah, just yeah. locked in for real. Hell yeah, yeah, that's dope, bro. So, so yeah, I was gonna ask real quick. I was like, of the cities you, you've lived, um, what would you rank them like top three? To awesome number one. Uh-huh. Um, I'd have, to, uh, yeah, I'd have to go awesome number one. Uh, Flint probably number two, and then California where I live. It was called Salinas, Monterey Bay area. Mm. Number three, just because um. Like Saline, California, I, I don't really, I don't really like California for real, but just cause like the law, the laws and stuff. But we ain't gonna get into that. <laughs> um, <laughs> but um, but yeah, no. And then Flint, just you know, I gotta pay my homage, gotta pay my respects. So that's mm. where I, you know, grew up, and I'm a like my whole like I definitely, if I were to do shows and stuff, I wouldn't go back there, mm-hmm. but I would definitely go back there to give back to the community. That's dope. Um, just cause you know, with Flint, if you have a name, they they gonna try to you know. So you mm. got to get up out of there, and it's just too grimy out there. But yeah, no, Austin's number one for sure. Just the quality of life and how, uh, like the um, what's the word, the possibilities and like re- resources you got there. I was trying to say resources. Yeah, I, that's that's what I've always told them too. Because like Austin is essentially like becoming kind of like what LA is yeah. now. You know, it's like on the come up of being a big it city, is. and a lot of people are wanting to move here now, and just the air like. If we really think about it, like all businesses are moving down here mm-hmm. and a lot of the things that are coming from Austin really aren't from Austin. No, you know no. what I mean? Like they're building it in Austin, but a lot of like the people aren't from the city. You know yeah. what I mean? So yeah. it's it's crazy to see that now because like, I mean, I'm not from Austin. Like we grew right. up in Pflugerville, which like yeah. is essentially. But you say Austin because nobody knows. If you would tell if a you're random not from, person Pflugerville, yeah, you're if like, y'all aren't from, yeah. from Texas yeah. and shit, you're not going to understand. Yeah, shit. but right. no yeah. yeah, if we say from Austin, like, oh, okay, yeah. And that, yeah. it's, it's kind of like how it goes, but yeah, uh no, like it, it's crazy seeing that now because uh, I moved here from Vegas actually, and Fire. yeah, and yeah. when I was like twelve, so seeing it, you know, from yes. when I moved here, from how big it's gotten, I can only imagine what people yeah. that are actually oh, from bro, here yeah. see it as, and you know, it's grown into something that like 
probably people never thought it was going to be. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like just Leander, because that's where I stay at right now. Mm-hmm. Just Leander itself has grown so much since mm-hmm. 2016. Like every time I leave for a little bit and come back, there'll be some new, something new built. Yeah. Because like yeah, yeah. you know nobody's gonna live in Austin, so everybody's going to the outskirts, Liberty yeah, Hill, yeah, all this yeah, stuff. Yeah. Yep. Just gonna commute yep. and on the train. So yep, like yep. the outskirts of Austin is getting crazy Popping. itself. Yeah. Yeah. It's be- but no, like going back to the business thing. Um, mm-hmm. my boy Bryce, I was out with him in LA. Shout out to Bryce and Hoodie Gang. Um, they're moving to Miami. And they're trying to get me to go to Miami instead of LA because, um, like Texas or yeah, Texas and Florida are the two main moving moving points from people from California, yeah. like businesses from California, because yep. that's like the new markets. And um, you know, so it just you know Texas and Florida, I think, are like the top two in terms of if you're going to try to do a business. Interesting. So, yeah. yeah, we're we're in the right spot, boys. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? Trying to know. trying to get this shit popping. Hundred percent. But um, so. I, I had a question. Oh yeah, yeah. Go I keep keep on going. Yeah, man. how'd you how'd you get connected to Quinn? I kind of want to hear that. Um, I shout out to Kyle. Um, Kyle made the beat. Um, he's an engineer producer. He uh he used to have this studio called the Beat Kitchen, yeah. and it used to be like right over here actually by the domain. And um, word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Like right outside of Top Golf, actually. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. like right down the road. Yeah, 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 yeah that's kind of crazy. So there used to be a thing called the Beat Kitchen there, and um. I used to be running with these boys. I don't, you know, really, I don't associate with them no more. But um, they kind of started taking me to that studio, and uh, that's how we met Quinn. And it was mm-hmm. before he blew up. Right, right. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, that's crazy. yeah. So that's that's kind of how that's like I knew him. Mm-hmm. So it's always been just you know mutual mutual yeah. respect there. Yeah, awesome. Hell how, yeah. How was your proposal of getting him on your on your album on that one single? <laughs> well, this is my second song I have him on now. All oh, right. Yeah. Um, we were, we were I was at my boy TJ's house was also my manager shout out to TJ um and uh he uh we were just in the studio one day and I hit up Kyle cuz I guess they were doing deals or they were in the studio doing features and I seen it on his story I was like can I get a feature and I was like I was basically I was like I'll send 500 right now and give him get a feature he was like all right bet send it over that night like tw- 2 minutes after that sent the feature over he sent it back like 2 3 hours later and yeah, it's crazy because the his part on the album is not even mixed. But mm. when we shoot the video, it'll be mixed. Okay. But um, yeah, nah. It's just like they've been busy with whatever they got going on, and he mm. couldn't, he didn't have time to mix it. And I want to drop my album, so I was like, fair enough, whatever. It's, it's good enough. That's, that's fire. fire. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. But that's that's how. Interesting. Yeah. I think I well, I think I was gonna ask because you said you were big in, into music as a kid, like that. Yeah. So I was gonna ask you, what was your first album that you ever bought? Uh, that I ever bought? Ooh, that's a good question, bro. I haven't, man, I haven't, first CD that People I still bought buy as albums? a kid. No. Right, nah, I think the <laughs> first one that I bought, oh, it was a Neo album. Hey, Y'all know yeah, who Neo yeah, is? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Boy, of course. Was it the that, one where he's wearing like the fedora and shit? Yeah, yeah. The, the, the yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, Hold on, yeah. 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 I forget yeah, what it was up, called. Pull it up, pull it up. Could, could you look it up? I forget <laughs> what it was called, Um, but it had Champagne Life, it had... Um, is that like Miss Independent and Miss shit like that? Oh, no, yeah. no, no, wait, wait, wait. No. I don't think it was on that album. It was an older one. That Miss Independent was an older one. This is this was the one right after it. Um, Look at oh, f- albums full. <laughs> Dang. I f- yeah, we, we got, don't worry, we got our uh, yeah. assistant. Hey, can you go to albums to scroll up right there? Oh, um, not bad. Oh, yeah, man. But yeah, so Neo was Neo, really fine, shout out dude. to my dad because he's he's the reason. I mean, I, my mom and Outcast, but like he's the reason that I. Oh, it was um, because of you. Because of you. In my own. In my own. No, words. it was Libra Scale. Mm, oh, that, okay. Libra Scale was the first one. First one I bought, but I started to listen to him like in my own words and because of you. Yeah, 100%. yeah but yeah. Yeah, yeah, Libra Scale was the one. But that, that was I, the first one. Yeah, the one first in, one in a million, bro. That used to be my favorite <laughs> song, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, bro. One in a million, but um. But that was the first album. That was like the ever... first one. I was like, "Ma, let's go to the store and and bought it." And I actually bought it for my grandma. Really? Yeah. And okay. She still has it to this day. That's dope. Yeah. 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 She still has it to this day. But you fuck with Nia though, bro. Yeah, hard. Come on. Yeah. Like if if I if I had a better voice, I would not be a rapper, bro. Yeah. I'd be like an R and B singer. Yeah, I'm trying mm-hmm. to see you on the on the love song and shit, bro. Come on, man. <laughs> nah, yeah. Yeah, bro. I was gonna say that's our that's our little uh yeah. s- lover boy over yeah, there. So you know, yeah. Juice World and shit like you nah, know what yeah. I'm saying. Harmonizing, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Right. Nah, yeah, nah. I, Neo used to, Neo and Outkast top Those two were, as my as a kid. Bro. Yeah, I guess we could uh, end it off on like or like end this segment yeah. of uh, us, the cameras and stuff. Who who were your biggest your top three biggest inspirations for making music? Mm. Making music or as a kid? <coughs> Let's do both. 
Because as a kid, making music are very different. <laughs> yeah, let's do both, I guess. Right, as a kid. <laughs> so we'll, we'll do it as ma- uh, as a kid. Michael Jackson, Neo, Outkast. But making music now, Migos, number one, used to be my favorite. Wow. Best okay. to take. R.I.P. Um, him, and then honestly, probably all of QC, like Yachty, Little Baby. Like all oh, of yeah. QC used to be like, that's all I listened to. QC the label. Yeah. Bro, you know QC just sold them sold the label to a Korean. Yeah, I saw that's that. Crazy. That is insane. That. Like, crazy. That, but, um, that's fucking crazy. Yeah, no, that's 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 who. And Fifty Cent, he's probably my favorite rapper right now to yeah. this day. To this day, yeah, favorite rapper. What's your favorite song? Like, from man, probably Disco Inferno, Twenty One Questions, or Many Men. Many men's a classic. Many, many. Yeah, I was like, yeah. I was like, everyone knows many men. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, no. The rest of them, I'm like, I, honestly, I don't listen like that. So I was like, honestly, I'm like, I have no idea. I said many, many yeah. men. I'm like, right, nah, I know that one. You're we're we're to Isaiah. We're back from those commercials. <laughs> yeah. Something like that. Yeah, sorry, yeah. You you were saying about yeah about L A. Yeah. So <laughs> when I first I I knew L A was gonna be expensive, right? Like it's mm. L A is gonna be expensive, bro. I got to the airport. And so I had to wait. I, I flew in. I got to L.A. at like 7.30. I was waiting for my boy, <clears throat> TJ, who was coming in at like 3-something. So oh, so you got I, 7.30 I, in the morning. Yeah. I sat there for like nine hours in the LAX airport. How was that? I, 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 I slept. I, bro, where I'm going with this is I had to get two meals while I was there. Dang. All right. Ooh. So when I first got off the plane, it's 7.30, 8 o'clock, you know, with getting bags or whatever. And so... They're serving, everything's open. Like for my, me, my body, it's like 11, 10 o'clock, 11. So it's like, you know, it's lunchtime maybe. And um, so I get a burger, bro. For the burger alone was eighteen fifty. Yeah. What the fuck? They lucky that shit was good. But still, eighteen fifty. dollars For a but burger? I got fries just a it. burger? <clears throat> yep, just a burger. I got fries and I got a water. That shit was $30. <laughs> Bro, it better have been something exquisite. Is all I'm saying, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> bro, like, it's, but, and then, so time goes by, I sleep, whatever, like, seven hours in, I'm like, I need a beer, I need some alcohol, I need some, so I go to this little restaurant, just one Angry Orchard beer was $10. Damn. Just for one can, not nah, like, a, like a bottle, but mm. still, like, that's, mm. I can go get a whole yeah. six pack for 12 um, and then and then I got a meal. I spent that right there was forty. So two meals in just the airport, I spent seventy dollars, bro. <laughs> ridiculous. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Charger, right? Oh yeah, because you said you spent like thirty bucks on a charger. Yeah, yeah, yeah bro. And then I spent, damn. So you blew like a- bro a hundred dollars just in the airports. Yeah, yeah, then, Bro, it was terrible. I, I ne- never again will I spend. I'll go. I'll starve the entire day. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, think, yeah. I think it's just how airports are too. Yeah, they be taxing but then, for sure. It's just kind of because they can. They know, can, bro. You know it's so mean? expensive. Yeah, yeah. That's my uh, terrible LA horror story. But didn't you say <laughs> you, you want to move there too? Yes. <laughs> I, I, you see, I contradict myself. Like it's it's screw LA. LA is a terrible place to live. Okay. But just in terms of for sure opportunities and resources and marketing and networking, bro. Mm-hmm. Nothing like it. Nothing like it. Bro, we, we, the one day that we went to downtown LA, we were on Rodeo Drive. This is going to sound like some really rich nigga lifestyle shit. Hey, hey talk bro, to we we're, were listening. We were in, hey, we, we had a 2023 um, AMG G Wagon for the entire week we were there. Yeah. And so we hit right. Rodeo Drive, and this Tesla pulls up next to us. And we end up racing these dudes down Rodeo Drive. You know, G Wagon versus Tesla racing on Rodeo Drive. Have you ever been around? Wait Rodeo? on it, oh, bro. Yeah. Okay, it's narrow as fuck. Like there's yeah. cars on the street, people That's walking. So it was already sketching that. But then mm. we pull up to the light. Tesla smoked us because it's automatic. But um, we're not automatic. But you know what I mean. There's no you don't got to shift the yeah. transmissions. Um, we pull up and these dudes are like. Yo, what y'all doing out here? What do y'all do? And then we were like telling each other, screaming from the windows. He's like, oh yeah, we content creators too. We're out here from, uh, like we were, we're just doing like a tour of traveling. Ends up being, um, I think his name is Leon. He has like 3 million on TikTok. He was just in Austin doing, he does those videos like, um, spin the wheel or get $5. And like oh. those, those type of videos. Yeah, yeah, you've probably seen him. So shout I out have to Leon. And, um, but yeah, no, no. He, so we ended up being them in the car. So we meet up on Rodeo and we exchange information. We get in one of his TikTok videos. And then he's like, Y'all rap, yada yada. They ended up coming to a music video, our music video shoot later that night. And it's like, 
And then we ended up meeting this, uh, designer that used to do um, designs and clothing before X died. Mm. And but like he has like 360k on Instagram. He like be with Paris Hilton. He was at the uh, Creed premiere. The other like, bro, just in one day on you Rodeo met Drive. All those, that's crazy. Yeah, you got all those crazy. connects just from that all those one. Connections, bro. Damn. So like my thing is, I hit up my business manager, my manager. I'm like, we gotta move to LA, bro. Yeah. Because less than a year, I can make some shit happen. Yeah. Like it was, it was, bro, crazy. <laughs> and you, so when, when would you be making that move out there hopefully ideally by the end of the year. Yeah. The end of the year? hopefully yeah because yeah. I mean, it's just expensive out there so yeah. you, you gotta save up money um but yeah nah it, la was great and it's just a great place to jumpstart your career for real i, I see why people go out there mm-hmm. but a shitty place traffic terrible to go 15 miles it took us an hour <laughs> on the highway so yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> lucky i feel like that's kind of how austin's getting yeah. though Bro. sadly it's not that bad. It's though. not that bad, but it's getting there. It's getting yeah. there, but that's why that going back to what I was saying earlier about like expanding to the outskirts and like people are moving outskirts and going into Austin. Like that's why because everybody's coming from California and all these other states. Cause it's a great place to work and live, and it's just getting packed, bro. Mm-hmm. It's terrible. Yeah, jeez. But yeah, well, JG, welcome. Uh, did you have any what questions what for Stacks? For sure. Uh, no, not really, bro. I'm just interested in listening to your stories. You got hella stories, bro. Bro, I got, I got so many <laughs> All right. stories. Yeah, so but, uh, uh, I guess going back to your L.A. trip, uh-huh. uh, yeah, yeah, was yeah. that, did you, is that something that was like a last minute thing or y'all had been bro, planned last it? last minute as fuck. Like two weeks beforehand, my boy Bryce hits me up. He's like, yo, you want to go to L.A.? I was like, um, <laughs> I mean, I do, but like money in <laughs> my yeah. job. So then... um. I looked up flights, bro. I got a round trip ticket for like seventy dollars on Delta too. Not even Spirit. Wow. I was yeah, not, 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 not even Spirit. <laughs> hey, I can't, I can't, hey, bro, I can't shit on Spirit. I, no, I, I mean, I definitely yeah. on Spirit for, for, for sure. sure. <laughs> yeah, you for know, sure. like, but um, you yeah, know, not seventy dollar round trip. And then um, we got all we all I had to do, me and my boy TJ, we had to put in on B and Bs because, bro, we were in LA with like a six bedroom house B and B in the hills, and then San Diego was a three story B and B with like seven bedrooms, bro. It was crazy. <laughs> But yeah, we all put in. Like that's why traveling as a group is better because sure. you can just put in and get some nice shit. Yeah, you know. So I spent like maybe five hundred dollars total on this trip and got to go out there and live the life I want to live for a good week before yeah. I come back here and going back to work. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. You know, going into that a little bit more. You know, obviously, I understand that completely yeah. as a newly content creator and yeah. you know trying to bring all the gang with this. Like we all have regular jobs. You know what I mean? So how how is it trying to balance that plus trying to have a m- music career? Bro, it's hard. Like, man, I, I like right now I stay in my dad's crib and like like so this past 2022 was the hardest year of my life. Like just um, going through stuff with an ex and like having a shared apartment and like bills and all this stuff it could, mm-hmm. like fucked me up the entire 2022. Mm-hmm. Like I literally, all of 2022, cause I had moved from Texas to Michigan and then I was in like end of 2021 going into 2022 and like some stuff happened. I had to stay there the entire year and then I got back on my feet and moved back here. Mm-hmm. But um, so like 2022, I was completely broke. Like dog, I didn't even have a pair of shoes. Like I rocked my Louis Vuitton slides for an entire year. Snow, like, bro, it was, I was so down bad, but, um, <clears throat> yeah. In Flint? Hell yeah. Really? But yeah, and like, just, just because of where I was, like, you know, um, God put me on my ass and made me work to get that shit back. Mm-hmm. So, um, but yeah, no, nah, and then I came back here and just been working, but like, I stay at my dad's and I have no bills now. So like, for me, it's like, I know I can work, save money. But at the same time, I don't want to work that much because I don't have that much bills and I just want to focus on my music. And just, you know what I'm saying? Like, make yeah. enough money to where I can fund my music and go hard at that. Yeah. But that's kind of why I want to go to LA because, like, I can just, you know, go to LA. I might, yeah, I might have an apartment, whatever, but at least I'm in LA. Yeah. For, you know? So, yeah, like you said, you could probably walk outside bro, and meet someone that has a million followers, bro, it's, you know? It's crazy. And that's that's really all it takes. It, t- it takes just, just for you to know people. know the right person. Literally, so, uh, like we got invited to go to this Creed premiere. This it was um well there was the one that my boy was at, but then there's one like beginning of March. Like we were invited to go back, but like I just can't like money, bro. I just can't. Mm-hmm. And then uh, we were we we were the boys that we met were just at the um, OBX premiere, mm. the Outer Banks premiere. Yeah, like literally. Yeah, shout <laughs> out to Outer Banks, bro. That's yeah. Madeline Klein, listen. 
Talk just to know, you. Just know <laughs> you're going to be the first girl I hit up when I get some clout. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> She's so bad. She's so bad. She's scheming. Yeah, Bro, you, you might yeah, have to. Not. So, like, just the connections there. Like, we were able to go all these places and just, I just, we just got to be out there now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, so... um. You plan to stay out there like permanently, or are you like just getting Fuck like, no, or you just can get like connections? Dog, get as soon as I and... get connections and get any type of traction, I'm out of there because nobody wants like celebrities are leaving LA, leaving California. It's so expensive there, bro. So expensive because I can go if I get bro five hundred thousand dollar house out here, buy you a beautiful mansion, dog, and five hundred out there, it's gonna buy you some shit in Compton. Like, it's terrible. <laughs> Not shit on Compton, yeah. like, you know what I mean? Yeah. But like, no, 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 yeah, we understand. Just like, like, just niceness wise and in in acreage, bro. There's no land. Yeah, like we were staying in a million dollar house and there's no fucking yard. Yeah, I want to be able to rip house. some some dirt bikes and shit around and Tie go crazy. Shit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Hey, so now nah, you could like, do that here in Texas for sure. That's oh, what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. Bro, so like, I'd rather spend a million out here on on a on a nice house and just a fuck ton of land, and then. Yeah, bro. Nah, just I'm trying to get some traction in LA. Then I'm out of there. Out of there. Hundred percent. Yeah. So I guess uh, you're saying you have a a mu- uh, agent. Yeah. So. I guess, yeah, celebrity a little more. How did that happen? And what made you want sh- to get bro, one? Actually, once again, shout out to Sai and ZD. He hooked me up with my boy Scott, and just now, ever since I met Scott, like <clears throat> nothing's in writing yet. Like he, we're we're in talks and like. He's, he's, he hasn't, you know, there's some, um, behind the scenes stuff we're working on, but ultimately, you know, he joined the team and he's basically putting me on his back and I, I put my, my full trust into him and I'm loyal to him just because like, bro, the first time that we got on a converse, on a call, um, after like a year of knowing him, like never like talking, um, we got on a call one random night in like January and talked for three hours. And he just spit games. Like, I literally took out my phone and started typing, like, 50 lines of notes because of just the amount of sauce that he's got. Because he's been in the industry and, like, so, you know. But um, we, we got some stuff coming. And, uh, yeah, it's... it's like, Loser being made. I don't want to speak on it nah, too yeah, much. Because if it don't happen, you're going to be like, oh, this guy's a poser. But, um, <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah moves we, are being made. Yeah. 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 Moves yeah. are definitely being made. Absolutely. Um, like, soon. Probably by, by summertime. Hopefully, might have a distro deal, mm. you know. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. I've just been kind of... Yeah. You know, yeah, no, bro. I, I know what's going to happen, Yeah, but I'm not speaking on it too much. Yeah, yeah. That, that's why, like, I, I see that you're, like, actually driven and motivated. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you're, yeah. you're taking this very serious. That's kind of why I wanted... The reason why, though, <laughs> yeah. is because... I don't do this rap shit because I just want to be a rapper and have fame. I do it because it's therapy to me. Mm-hmm. Like, just the shit that I've been through, it's just therapeutic. Like, instead of, fuck a therapist, I don't want to sit here and talk to a stranger about my feelings. Nah, I'm going to yeah. go make a hit because I know a million other people going to relate, you know, mm-hmm. some sad shit, some, you know, heartbreak, you know. Mm-hmm. People going to relate to that and they like hearing that. So, if my pain is a hit and helps other people, so be it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, so you, you, you use, like... um the, yeah, the creation yeah. for music yeah. for as like a way for you to express your emotions and stuff like that. Yeah, because I mean, you got to be genuine. Like one thing anybody who really makes music and like industry knows, like they're going to see through you. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to see if you are just making music to make music and be a, like, you know, a, a creator and all this other stuff. Or if you're rapping because you've been through some shit and you're genuine, like you can feel the pain in some people's songs or you can't, and you know what I mean? It's yeah. just like yeah. the, the audience is going to see through you, bro. And yeah. if you aren't believable, they're not going to latch on. Yeah. Like I hear, you know, artists all the time coming up out here. I'm just like, I don't believe you. Like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, uh, and a lot of rappers out here too. Shout out to Austin, bro. Shout out to, um, shout out to DJ and Messiah. Them boys, we got a song coming. Um, you know who Snail Gang Movement DJ, DJ is? I don't actually. No? Put me um, on, yeah. Like, we'll we'll talk about it. Shut him out. Yeah, no, DJ, bro, he's tough. He's on the rise. That would be like, <clears throat> my manager asked me, he was like, is there anybody you would um, bring up with you? Or like, want, you know how like there's OTF and all, like, is yep. there anything, if you make, my thing is go mode. Go so, mode? Like, yeah, Stand, go. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, we on go all the time, just motion. I like so, that, um, I like yeah. that. That's like, if I were to start that and bring some people in, bro, DJ, Messiah, and I have a couple other boys back in Michigan, um, but just here, bro, those are the two niggas that, they're hard. We got a song. Yeah. I'll play all the songs. Yeah, I would say, yeah, I, I definitely. Yeah. We'll play <laughs> but, um, after. Nah, he's tough, but yeah, yeah. I don't know. Just like a lot of rappers out here, just 
rap by the same shit too. You know, yeah. this is guns, like all this other stuff, bro. Yeah, yeah genuine. I, so I guess uh, going into that, uh, you know, shout out to Opinionated Boys. They they get a lot of artists on, and they kind of ask this same question. But what uh, what do you think? Why do you think artists from Austin, like besides Quinn, obviously, mm-hmm. and uh, maybe there's a couple handful that I I don't know personally, but uh, what is stopping artists from Austin from like making that big break and busting into the scene and like the music scene? Like, bro, realistically, I think it's just because Austin's not put on yet. There's so much talent out here, bro. Exactly. That's and I think like Quinn ain't even blown. Like he's blown and he's signed, but he's yeah. not as big as he can be. Not at all. Like so. like his biggest song, I think it has maybe twenty million or or more. Yeah. Or no. That's a lie because he has a song with Tuzi. You know, he, he definitely has like yeah. 50 million YouTube plays total. Yeah. And uh, but regardless of that, like I think it's just like Austin has not been put on the map yet map yet mm-hmm. enough. Yeah. And also on top of that is like there's a community in Austin a lot better than Flint, but at the same time, this is where niggas gotta put their egos and their pride aside and all that beef and Same just come together. Shit. Like, Same bro, that's shit. like, like I literally, bro, I, that's I can't stress that enough. Like, we're all, I'm just trying to get money. Yeah, there's so much money in this world to go around. Yeah, don't yeah, get yeah. money. Stop trying to beef with niggas, bro. That shit is is is, yeah, is, is young, really immature ridiculous. shit. Yeah, I and think like, if we all came together and just it came up as like as as Austin, bro, we would blow. Yeah, there's so much talent, bro. Yeah, that that shit. I'm not gonna lie, bro. That's kind of. What, what we're trying to do over here yeah. you know that's why like it's cool getting to know you more and you know we definitely you know we, we this is actually our first time meeting i don't know if anybody yeah. knows that as yeah. audience wise but you know this is the first time we met you so but we've been in touch through ig and you know we follow each other so we've been keeping up with each other i've been seeing all the moves you've been making and it's like you know i fuck with you as an artist for one and just getting to know you a little bit more yeah. obviously if, you know doing this pod and stuff it's great to see that you have like a good head on your shoulder and like yeah, you actually are trying to do good and you're you know you're not taking advantage of the situation you're yeah. in because you make great music but it's like you have like a bigger goal in mind yeah. you know what i mean, I mean like if I, bro if i never blow up off rapping i won't be mad like i'll go be an engineer i'll go be a videographer because i you know i can do that i do photography bro like I go, like my biggest thing is I I, I want to rap to then venture off to become a businessman. Mm. Like that's that's it because the money ain't in rap, bro. Yeah, that shit is not in rap. They, like you you maybe I think you gotta do like five hundred streams to get a dollar or something like that. Like yeah, bro, I actually saw a tweet. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 you probably yeah, saw the same one. Yeah, but like, yeah, bro, streams. This is what people don't understand in the, in the in the industry or in the rap game, like upcoming artists, bro. Streams, you're not gonna get money off streams. You yeah. have to do like fifty three million streams to make a million dollars. Yeah. And that's just off of YouTube. Yeah. You have to do more because YouTube pays more than like Spotify and Apple. So really? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you're not doing, oh, yeah, if that. you're not doing shows or you're not getting endorsement deals, sponsors, bro, you're going to be broke as fuck. Yeah. Unless you are a young boy and you're doing 50 million plus every video you drop. Yeah. Unless that's you like have a, a cult every like that, vi- that's what Damn. I'm saying. Unless you have a cult and a fan base, you're not going to be making money, bro. Yeah. Like... At all, and I feel like too, like with the streams and stuff, you could kind of uh, manipulate those a bro. little bit. You know what I mean? So, Man. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> the amount of niggas that I like, this is like a big thing in Flint too. I know some niggas out there. I'm not gonna name names, but uh, they they whole thing like, bro, you'll go on a Spotify, thousands of months of listeners, thousands of plays, but that shit does not carry over to their popularity, and you always know because or like Instagrams, bro, niggas that have 10 k plus. You on an Instagram like some. Arabian like foreign language and bots, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know it's exactly so, what so, you mean. Like niggas would rather look the part than be it. And mm. it, I said that in one of my songs because it's so irritating. Why the fuck would you rather look the part than actually be that nigga? Yeah. Because what the fuck? What are these fake streams gonna get you? Nothing. Yeah. Use a little, a little city clout. Maybe some bitches yeah. gonna see that. Yeah. Man, fuck them. It, 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 it's uh, a perception. I agree. Because yeah. I, I feel like we just live in a generation bro. where it's like. You have you. It looks like you have all these listens and right. followers. So, and I mean that's the thing. Like, motherfuckers aren't genuine. That's why I stay to myself, and I only rock with a few because of that. Like, I'm I'm a really genuine person. I'm a real like I'm I I, I like to keep shit a hundred, and that's why people don't like me because I keep shit a hundred. But you know, um, like for me, like I got I'm just about to hit 500 followers, bro. I'll go through my following and remove people that are like fake accounts or spam accounts. I'll go remove because like. I don't give a fuck about followers. Yeah, what does I don't that give a mean? fuck about likes. Yeah. Like, I'm, like, no egotistical shit. I'm humble. But, like, I'm better than the majority of these niggas that got the followers out in the city. So, it's like, I don't, but I don't, I don't care about none of that. I just let my, my art and my music speak for myself because it'll come mm-hmm. down the line, you know? So, yeah. it is what it is. I, I guess, so, going into that more, a little more, obviously, you know, you're, you're a great artist. You're, you create, 
great music. Uh, what is it that you think that you need to do to get more uh, exposure and get your name more out there? Just, Besides, like, moving to LA, yeah, of no, course. Yeah, no, I mean, but really for me, it's just, like, networking. I, like, my, I'm, very stub- I'm very stubborn when it comes to working with new people, and that's my issue. Like, my manager's trying to, trying to bring me out that bubble because I know that's what you got to do and, like, you know, be welcoming of new people, but I'm not, bro. Like, I'm really? not. Just because, like, I've been so fucked over before, and it's like, I got me, and I rely on me, and that's it, you know? And, and TJ, bro, like... Shout out TJ. He shoots all my videos, but he's also my my manager. And um, yeah, I would say, he, is that the twenty four two four eight cinematics? Yeah, okay, Shout out two, two four eight. eight. Y'all, yeah, y'all go man, go follow him. Go sub on that. It's but, um, to him, yeah. yeah, no, he shoots all my videos, and uh, he like literally how how we came together was um, he found he I was doing a feature for this one guy at the studio. He brought um, he brought TJ through the videographer, and then we shot I shot a video for the feature, and then. We added each other, and then he he seen like he seen I was hard. He was like, "Let's shoot a video." I was like, "I ain't got no money." Like I've never had videos, bro, until mm. I met TJ because I've it's always been broke. Yeah, yeah, I and, understand. Um, yeah. Then TJ was like, "Fuck it, like you hard. I'm just do that shit for free." I was like, "All right, for sure." Hey, hey bro. Yeah, life. nah. Shout out, like, and then like at first with me and TJ it was business, but that's my dog. Like, I, I kill for him now. For yeah, real. that's it's just so much love. Like his family loves me, and like, that's bro, dope. We, we've just like whenever people ask like. Like to link up or go do stuff. I'm like, all right, yeah, if TJ can come. Mm-hmm. Like this LA trip, they didn't. Have, I was like, yeah, I'll come if my manager TJ can come. Mm-hmm. He was like, all right, for sure, bro. Like you know, just I don't know the love I got and the the amount. Like once I get money, I'm he's gonna be set, bro. Like, yeah, he's jump started my career because with videos, bro, you got to get yourself out. You got to get your face out. People got to see you. Yeah. So it's like if it wasn't for me having these videos, bro, I probably wouldn't have the little fan base that I do now. Yeah. So yeah, absolutely. Man, I guess yeah. I so. Um, going into that more, you said you know obviously music videos is a another big way to get your more yeah. exposure and stuff. Oh, it is, bro. Well, how, what other ways do you uh or what other things do you do to promote your music? That's the issue. I don't. And, okay. <laughs> but I, the reason I don't is because I just feel like, I mean, okay, so TikTok, obviously, you know that's a good way. That's a, a lot of people blown off on TikTok, but I don't want to be that guy that blew up off TikTok. That's my issue. But I got to stop thinking that way and just like accept it because it is a good form of promotion. Um, but I mean, other ways are like Say Cheese, like, you know, but Say Cheese is very Texas based. And if you don't have like the Quinn sound or Texas sound, niggas, they going to let you have it in the comments. Yeah. And I'm true. not, I know I got good music, but I, that's not really my demographic. Yeah. So it's like, I got to, I don't know. But yeah, I mean, just promo pages and um, just, yeah. Connecting, really, that's it. Networking yeah. and shit, which mm-hmm. you said is something that, like... Bro, it's it's crazy. It really yeah. is. Yeah, I would say, because, like, I feel like that's, you know, as an artist, you said that it's hard for you to, like, bring new people in for you yeah. to make music with. And you think it's... Is it just because... Uh, a good point on that is it's, it's hard to bring people in because, especially when they see you making moves, they might see early that you got potential and they just finna take advantage. So it's like you really expect, and then once you get there, you got to be wary of those, your surroundings, bro. Like yeah. just people trying to use you for your talent, and that's yeah. it. Not your, not actual, genuine. Like oh, I'm trying to help you. Like a like a good relationship, yeah, and just trying to like benefit from each other. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So with you, with you, uh, like, um, like you say, you don't you, you don't really aren't really accepting of new people like that. Like what's your what's your like criteria for like you know working with someone like. If they were new, you would make an exception, like, you know, if, you know, some kind of... It's not really a criteria. It's more of, like, we got chemistry. Like, Uh fuck, I don't care how much you pay me for for a verse. I'm not doing that shit if I don't feel like the song's going to be quality and I don't feel like we have a connection. I don't care about none of that. I don't care about the money. I just, I do this music stuff because I love it. So, like, you know, um, if, if a dude who's trying to make music and is new to it, never been in the studio before, but wants to try it out, and, like, I have a good connection, we've been talking... I might even buy him a, a session and we'll go in there and record a song and I, I, he can drop it. Like, it's just more like, I, like I'm trying to show genuine love and put people on. That's, that's what I want to do. Mm-hmm. Like I have people texting me now, like most people, like rappers, like I look up to you, bro. And like, you know, you make, you made me want to go harder at this. And like, just like now, bro, I don't, I'm not even nothing. Yeah. It's just, it's just a good feeling. Yeah. It's dope. Right. It's a great feeling, bro. It's crazy. Like, I, you know, I, obviously, like I said, I'm not a musician, but yeah. you know, we've kind of built this up as a group and, mm-hmm. It's crazy for me, like, as ZD, shout out yeah. to ZD, he just pulled up the other day and he was saying that, like, you know, he, 
like I'm kind of like an influence for him, you know, because for him wanting to make like a a media company and shit like that, it's crazy because like, you know, like it it all starts with you just like wanting to do something, you know, like this is, I've always wanted to make videos. I've always wanted to be my own boss in a sense, you know what I mean? So like it's dope. Like anybody could do this, bro. Obviously like it takes grind and it takes dedication, of course, but like if you really want it, you're going to go out there and get it because if I can do it, anybody could do it. Real shit. You Thanks. know what I mean? Yeah, that's how, that's how I'm trying to like portray that to people like cuz I feel like they just need to hear that. Yeah. And like that's the thing nowadays like I feel like for us it's always like you always are you can always be better. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like I feel like that's how we grow up, but yeah. oh no, bro, like if if you really want to do something in life, you you can do it. You just got to bust 100%. your ass. <laughs> That's so random. I did not expect to hear that tonight. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I don't. I don't know what it was. You still fuck with it or what? I mean, I love cars, bro. Like, okay, I'm a, like car guy. When I get money, money, I'm gonna have a. Yeah. Okay. I guess. Yeah. Go, go. If you want to talk about that, we can. Yeah. I would say just. Hey, I mean, hey. since we already brought it up, yeah. what's like uh, your dream car? Hop in real quick. Um, dream right. car. Yeah. Just Man. No, go ahead. Dream car. Um. <sighs> Like you when There's, when when you get money, what is the first car, car you're getting? First car, just out of pure, um, just like, nah, maybe I don't know. That's G nah, nah, probably Trackhawk. I ain't gonna lie. Trackhawk. Yeah, just because it's 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 simple. It's it's a family car. Like, I don't know. It's a sedan. I mean, and it's like, fast bro, I'm, gonna have, I'm gonna have an entire. I love Dodge. I love Hellcats. It might be stereo. My park game. Yeah, but no. Um, be I used to have a uh, Pontiac G8 and. uh I, I love that thing, man. Yeah. But no, yeah, I probably first car that I would buy. Trackhawk. Trackhawk. 100%. Okay. Yeah. All right, after Trackhawk, what are we getting? Um, I, mm, I don't like I don't like hyper cars. I don't like super cars. Really? So all muscle cars. Okay. I probably buy like a um. I probably no yeah I'm gonna buy a C63 or an E63 AMG Mercedes or an S5 bro no nah, screw all that I'm buying an S550 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 bro <laughs> okay Mercedes S550 first right. car and then a Hellcat but like dream car dropping dropping money on yeah <clears throat> probably that's such a good question, bro. I'm not materialistic, so but probably, you're not materialistic, but you like cars. But so I you're love gonna, cars, so I would like build one, like some word. custom shit. Yeah. What like, what would what would you start to build with? Like an older, you know what? Nah, I'm hitting I'm hitting up um, oh what's her name? What's her name? Um, Calvo Motorsports and get me a crazy ass Viper, mm. crazy ass Viper or GTR. Cause okay. I want to go hit the drags. I want to go hit the drags and go crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Texas 2K, it's a huge drag racing event down in Houston, bro. Uh-huh. It's actually in March. It's coming up, but um, crazy. I want to go, just rip down the drag shits, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. I did not expect Sax to say he liked NASCAR. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> that, that was a a, a, a great great bro, thing. I haven't watched out. NASCAR in a minute, but like as a kid, bro. Yeah, you love that shit. It's like a, a part of who you are. Yeah. Yeah. I just. You think that's... I love the sounds, bro. Yeah, I would say, was that a, a big part of why you are so into cars right now, you think? 100%, or? bro. Yeah. Just like hearing loud-ass cars and just rumbling and going fast. Have you ever been to a race, like IRL type shit? Yeah, I've been to like, probably like five of them bitches. Because we used to live in Connecticut, so we used to go to like um, uh, Delaware and stuff like that. Like, it's a small track, very close, like just... This is one of the smallest tracks they have, but yeah, it was it was fun. Yeah. They used to put me to sleep because the vibrations, bro, it would put me to sleep. I'm so <laughs> real. I, I used no, to fall asleep. Yeah, I, I used to that. fall asleep all the time at NASCAR races. Crazy. What the? It, fuck? That's like you the would same. Think, that's like the same correlation to like driving in Mexi- a car. Not like Mexican kids. A car? <laughs> no, Mexican I mean, yeah, kids. Though. Yeah, in a way, but Mexican kids would like sleep. There's like a video out there where like there's this Mexican baby. Mexican baby. There's like this little baby. <laughs> he's Mexican. <laughs> and he's sleeping right next to a fat ass speaker at like really? some kind oh, of party. Oh, yes. I've and seen it, those. it's the same thing though. That, yeah. It's just Because it happened to me too. And it would be the vibrations. Yeah. The vibrations literally, that's like a massage oh, chair, yeah. bro. You're like, oh shit. Yeah. And you're just like, you, you don't even notice. Before yeah. you notice, you're back home. You're like, oh Thanks. shit, I passed out uh-huh. over there. My yeah. mom used to put me, used to literally just. Like if I was crying as a as a baby, she would take me into the car, start the car, and run it for like five minutes, and I fall asleep. Really? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Low key, my parents would just drive around. Yeah, like, bro. Yeah. Like it's something I'm, about wow. just it's soothing. I don't know. 
feel it. Oh. No, I feel that. Yeah. Boy, yeah. Boy, yeah. You're kind of you know, man. Right, CJ's right. like the black sheep in this one because yeah. he, he he can't relate. Huh? I mean, I know what you I know what you mean, but like I would. I mean, I, I that didn't that wasn't for me personally. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but like I understand it. You know, yeah, 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 this yeah. man falls asleep anywhere though. I'm yeah, like, me and him used to be roommates back in uh, back in Texas State. Uh-huh. Literally, I, I would come home like at different hours of the day. Like I'll either like stay and like study. I'll like come back like right after class, knock down the couch. Yeah, I fall asleep in the studio. If we have like a long studio session and I'm not recording, bro, I'm, not, I'm knocked the fuck out. Yeah. yeah. What's your What's your uh, would be? Do you have like a good time to go to the studio? Like, is there like a time where you're like, ah, oh, hell yeah, this is where I need to be in the studio. You look at the clock and you're like, oh. Is when I, I got time of day. Um, if I go to the studio, it's usually at night. Um, but like, there's no certain time for me. It's just like that's usually when I can only get in because of work and stuff. Right. But if I'm at home, bro, I record all day. Like my latest album, I recorded that. I think it's like 23 tracks. I recorded all that shit in like two weeks. There you go. The, yeah. Let me rephrase that question then. Do you ever get? Is there every like? Uh, it doesn't have to be a specific time, but like uh, something in your head that makes you go. I just need to make music. Aside from like <laughs> when trying I, to get to the bag or something, when you know pissed, what I mean, bro. I, I can, bro, I can make music whenever because I feel like there's always some fuck shit going on or like there's something always going on. Yeah. But like, and plus you got like, like after like when I was in LA, I I, I didn't make I, I got sick when I was in LA so I couldn't make as much music as I wanted to. But like, if something's going on, I record. Like if I'm pissed off, I'm gonna record some yeah, shit. Yeah. If I'm sad, I record some shit. But like. So yeah, there's just so I'm there's mad. really you you really just be making music yeah because like, like, all the shit, time bro. stop yeah. playing with I mean, when I that's can, go oh, at, least, <laughs> at least yeah I mean, at least when you can right when yeah. I can yeah like right now I don't have a setup at the crib um I'm I'm working on getting a setup right now but, yeah because uh, like for me I know how to engineer I know how to do all that stuff so there's no reason like p- put it this way if I go to the studio like if you book a two hour session at a studio it's gonna range from 100 to 100, 100 to 120 dollars yeah. for two hours you do that shit. Four or five times a month, you spend a good amount. Up, for sure. You can go spend five hundred, six hundred dollars on a decent setup and just learn how to mix. Yeah, and nah. You 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 making all your shit at home. Mm. Most of the artists blowing up now made they shit on band lab. For sure, bro. On a fucking phone. It don't it don't really take much. Like as as, as <coughs> it goes it with like anything, it, yeah. it don't take much. It's just yeah. computer, microphone, and some like yeah. little shit right yeah. here, and boom, you good Facts. to go. I mean, if yeah. you wanna if you wanna obviously up your game, you know, get a fire ass microphone and yeah, sound yeah, your room yeah, or like yeah, I don't know like the, the latest song I made out in LA called Melrose um, go check it out video out now yeah go check it out yeah check that shit out gotcha I'll plug you I made that in a in a hardwood floor in a hardwood room <laughs> and it was hella echoey but like you might be able to tell a little bit, but like that's kind of how like raw I wanted it to be. Like yeah. I'm in LA, I just recorded this bitch. I yeah. recorded the video, edited it, dropped it next day. Boom. So shit. like that's you know, fire. all in 24 hours. That's fire. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. like I don't know, I, but like you know when I'm trying to put an album out, it's all you know. I'll probably go to the studio, mix it, and stuff yeah. like that. But yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, going to our conversation that we were having off camera before uh, before we started rolling <laughs> and shit, uh, Alex had asked. He wanted to know what. Your names were before you finally came up with Stacks Go. So if we could go into that a little bit more. Oh my God. All right. Um, first ever name, I think was no, bro. It, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go from order which I remember. All right. <laughs> Sauce God Migo. Don't know where oh. that came from. Damn, well, you say said, that again. You said Migos were a big yeah, part of. True, Hold on. True. Say that again. <laughs> Sauce God Migo. Spell that out like S A U S A U C E saw and then G O D and then M I G O sauce God Migo. Yeah, that's kind of tough. It was like it, it was, I fuck with that. Yeah, it, it, it was okay. Sauce God Migo. <laughs> that's kind of hard. But yeah, so that was like my like one of my first, and then it went um, then it went Lone Star Kid. Cause that's when I moved to Texas. Uh, Weak as hell. Never, nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> uh, hell, he's like no bitch. Hey, hell no. Nah. Uh, AJ Guala. Fuck no. Um, <laughs> what? Hold on. Why? AJ Guala because my my government initials it's AJH. Okay. So I said AJ uh, and then Guala because right. I'm to Guala. 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 money right. Yeah, Guala. Um, no, you I think actually for that shit. I used. Oh no, no. The, and, then, and then it went to Andy Stacks. Um, I used a rap name generator for that. <laughs> they sound like the white shit. I know, I know. Now bro, was, any and stat, right, or right, right now, you can go find one song that I have out under Andy Stacks. 
Actually, there's two gonna there's gonna be two out right now under there still. But um, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. Go and, and an S now. with a dollar sign. So uh, yeah, <laughs> no original, right? <laughs> it's original. Right? So uh, yeah, any stacks, and then it went to stacks go. Just stacks go. Yeah, just like and, that. And then ran with it ever since. Dude, I, yeah. I thought about changing my name, but nah. Yeah, Sauce so got me go tough, bro. That shit got me thinking. <laughs> He's like, "Hey, you got me with that one." Oh, I might change it back now. No. One, bro. I thought about yeah. I was sixteen years old. I was sixteen when Tell I came up with that name. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Crazy Sauce got me go. Don't know where the. <laughs> He's like, don't know where. Don't know. I mean, it came from Migos. I don't know where Sauce got right. came from because I did not have jerk. <laughs> so that's, that's you, you say you're full of stories like that, and you're like bro. in the studio or telling the studio, so. Tell us, like, what's the, like, most interesting experience you've ever had, like, in the studio? And you're just like, yeah, like, that was crazy. Hmm. Or you're like, I can't believe that happened. Most interesting studio huh, session. I mean, probably because when I, like, 2018, when I first met Quinn, like, that was the first, like, good rapper, I guess, I've been around. Mm-hmm. So, like, seeing him go in there and then just... Go crazy on that motherfucker! Like I don't know, I was like, damn. Yeah, I feel like, like you, I can't uh, do that, bro. If you ask me to freestyle right now, I can't. I don't write my all right. I, uh, crazy because uh, we actually have a uh, yeah, you're gonna freestyle over this beat. Look at that. <laughs> nah, like, Imagine, bro. It, like so we should do that when like. I when I record. <laughs> right when I record, um, I, I I I just I just record. So like I freestyle when I record. But if you were to ask me to sit here and, and then rap, like bro, I, I, you will not see me on. Um, Hot, Hot 90, 97. Yeah, yeah, you will not yeah. see me doing freestyles, bro. Yeah. You, funk Flex, you will not see me doing that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm saying I'm, that right now. Like, come back it. to this shit later on. You will not see me doing. No, I'm sorry, you won't. Don't even ask me, Funk Flex. It's not happening. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Like, so stop asking. Just stop asking. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> but yeah, not. Nah, um. So I guess just like going in there and seeing that, like, just kind of motivated me. Like, yeah, damn, this motherfuckers is fire. Yeah. But, like yeah. nothing crazy has happened. Like no. No one yet has ran up in there trying to blow some shit or like, nice. you know, yeah. not, nothing like that is happening. <laughs> yeah. No strippers nah, or... No, 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 no strippers. Fuck them hoes. I don't give a fuck about them. Mm, yeah, you do be saying that. Yeah, bro, music. Like, <laughs> like, they just... Nah, yeah. Bro. Like, I want to find... Like, eventually, I want to find a girl to settle down with, but... Oh, wow. Yeah, let's get, let's get into it. Fuck all them hoes, bro. Hey, we just had the Valentine's special, so... Yeah, I was going to say, like, you know, since that. you brought it up a little bit, let's yeah, talk about it. Yeah, you know what I mean? So, I guess... Uh, you know, I get going off of that. Yeah. I'm, I'm assuming you're a single man. Single man. Uh, how is that in being in a city? And I'll tell you this though, I wasn't single. Like, all right, so right before I went to LA, I was in this little situation with this one girl. Um, back and forth since like August, bro. It's been it's been too too much. And so like, she was finna come down here from from Michigan and come to Texas, and we was finna wow. lock in whatever. Um, and I went to LA. And I knew this was gonna happen, bro, because she's she's the jealous type. Like she trips out. <sighs> Went to LA, tripping on my phone like every fucking night. Like there's just first of all, there's a three hour difference. So like when she she's going to bed, it's like six o'clock for me. I'm out <laughs> and about. She's like, I'm going to bed. You ain't gonna call me at it. I'm like, no, I'm out like doing, I'm doing shit, shit, bro. Like yeah. no, I'm not gonna do that. Like, and so you know um, who like, I am? so she was just tripping, tripping, tripping. One night, bro. I'm sleeping. She's hit, bro. I wake up to like 36 missed calls, 176 text messages. Oh damn! I, I'm like, yeah, no, nah, we're done. I, that's it, bro. Like I'm, I'm in San Diego right now. Like second half of my trip, enjoying life. Fuck no, I'm not doing this. Yeah. I don't need that distraction and that stress. So I was like, yeah. that's it. Yeah. So um, cut that off, and I'm just, I'm fucking done, bro. Yeah. If it, if it happens, I tell you what. If, when I blow up, mm, I like if that a girl. I, I don't know if I could date after that. If I don't have a girl beforehand, and I, I can't realize that she's actually for me, I don't know if yeah. I can. That's unless a, a good, good wow. unless she's already in the industry, like another actor or something like that, and she understands it because yeah. bro, these hoes is gonna want you for your money. You know what I mean? Not for real. Though. Or if it's a girl that I knew beforehand and had a good connection with, like picky. Yeah. I'm you you would you would bring a you would bring a girl up. There's only a couple that I would <laughs> just because they bad, not even with your personality. Yeah. <laughs> just because they bad, yeah, bro. Yeah, like, I, I guess I'll go into that a little bit more. What are the top five things you look for? In a girl when you're trying to get in a relationship. And then to back that question, what's your top three red flags? All top right. five first. All right, all right, we'll go with <laughs> reasons, like what I look for. Um, I'm going to say this. It's probably going to get brought up later when I blow up and I'm going to get canceled, but you can only get canceled if you care. Um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't like black women. I don't date black women. 
That's just not my... Uh, really? But Flint ruined that. They All the ghetto bitches out there just... I don't like that. Like, they ratchet as fuck. So, for me, um, white girls, Latina, <laughs> love them. Love them to death. I love my white girls, though. So, like, that's, like, first. And then... <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo! So, so then, so then, um, it, 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 blonde, gotta be either blonde or brunette. And if you got blue eyes, bro, it's a rat. Nigga. Like, come take my soul, bro. I don't care. <laughs> hey, bro, blue, man, more why, green why, eyes. Why do you keep looking at me, then? Hey, yo. <laughs> hey, don't, don't, hey, come on, don't play with stats, go. Come on, hey, yeah. nah. So yeah, blue, blue green eyes. Um, can't be taller than me. If you're taller than me, fucking lineman, get out of here. Um, <laughs> I can't do that. Uh, yo. So yeah, really. And, and, but like looks wise, this is looks. But if I go off of um, yeah, I was, I, I was talking about just in nah, general. Nah, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the hey, but, yeah, like, get to that. <laughs> that's it, Ladies. Sarah Cameron, bro. Say, like literally drink, bro. Her, but um, nah. I would say like you gotta have a good work ethic. You gotta be getting to your own bag. You gotta um, you just gotta show me that you don't need me. Like yeah. I want, I want to say Inde- that you independent. Don't need me. Yeah, like I Ambitious. don't want you to need me. Okay. I want, I want to run up this bag and have two fire ass incomes together. Yep. Yeah. Um, you can't be tripping, bro. Like I'm, if I'm, if you're in me in this life, mm-hmm. there's gonna be bitches hitting my phone. Like For sure. not like that, but like you know, just it's a part DMs, of it. right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yo. Like you're gonna be doing business. Get, get me a virus. No cap. But, get me um, a virus. <laughs> no, nah, yeah, I don't understand click that. On like, porn no, you just gotta don't be, you just gotta be a boss, bitch. Up. Like you just gotta, um, you just got, you can't be sensitive. I'm, I'm very, I'm very just like straightforward with it. So can't be sensitive and crying whenever I say some shit that's truth and you don't want to look at your flaws. You know what I yeah. mean? So hell yeah, that, that's yeah. And, and then, then he said that uh, your you like top, your, your your three. What are your three red flags? When you talk to a girl, if I look down at your nails, you got some tiger claws on the motherfuckers. I already know you ratchet. Um, if you got crazy ass butterfly wing eyelashes, you gotta go. Um, <laughs> you might have to go to five because you named me a little too quick. Nah, like, you th- nah, three, 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 three. I'm picky and like yeah. I don't even care that I'm picky, bro. Like it is what it. But like it's yeah. not a bad thing. Um, and then like I don't know if you just. I like a girl who's not active on social media. Mm, okay. Yeah. I don't get like, I don't care if I have a bad bitch and she might post an ass. I really don't care. Like, yeah, I'm I'm hitting that. Like, you can't, I'm hitting that. But like, um, <laughs> yeah, you are. but I'd rather have a girl that's uh <laughs> Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what you do this. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> I'd rather have a girl though that's just um off social media. Really? Just vibing out, like so- private. Let me ask you this though, because there is those girls, and I know y'all know about them. The sure. ones that like don't be on social media, I feel like those are the ones you gotta look out for too. Sometimes they're like, yeah. "Oh no, I don't have an Instagram." You gotta, you gotta look out for yeah, every well, girl. Like at the end of the day, no, no, just, absolutely. But you know, like, but for I, I don't know. I think like one that shit. has Instagram, she don't like hide it, like in Snapchat, but she's just not active. Okay, like just someone that's not active and she just cares more about real life. Cause mm. like me, fuck social media. If I was not oh. a rapper, I would not be on social media, bro. Let's talk that's about it. Let's Cause it. I, I feel like that's always been something for me too. That I feel like I'm kind of going through that, like yeah. with social media right now. Cause mm-hmm. I, you know, like how you were saying, you obviously you realize that you have to be on it. You have to show people this is what I'm yeah. doing. This is the life I'm wanting to live, and this and that. Yeah. How how do you go about? Um, the, what what exactly do you show to your audience, and what do you keep to yourself for personal? Mm. That's a good question. Um, my biggest thing that I didn't do before that I do now, um, after just finding myself and who I want to be in this music shit, is keeping my emotions off the internet. Like, I might have girl issues running the internet, post it. I mean, I. <clears throat> I still do that a little bit here and there, but if like the conversation is <laughs> funny and if like this bitch is tripping on me, but like I don't like the other day for for example, it's for here. example, <laughs> uh, the other day, um, this that girl I was talking to. Um, mm. Now I'm gonna say this beforehand. She didn't have she didn't have this when I was with her. So, but now, so she's raising her tone, talking to me all type of crazy, and so the only thing I said to her was. You had chlamydia. Don't raise your tone at me. So like, so, but but then I, I posted that and like I took it down a little bit afterwards. I was like, see, I can't be doing that. Like, I can't be doing that, bro. Like, I don't know. Just <laughs> Did she? Huh? Yeah, did... no, no. She definitely did. 
She got like she didn't have okay, it when I got. Oh, no, 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 listen, not when I was with her though. Like, like months afterwards, because she cheated on me. That's okay. a, that's the karma for her dumbass. Okay, that's karma. I was so, like, um, you better have a lot of questions. Nah, 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 nah. Bro, like, nah, nah, nah. I was two, like, bro, two months after, bro, because I was in Florida, <laughs> moving back here, because I had went to Florida, then came here, and uh, she texted me. She's like, she told me about that. And I was like, yeah, that sucks for you. I sent I was saying laughing emojis, crying emojis. Like, that sucks for you. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking a skull like, emoji yeah, is your like, dad. Yeah, yeah, bro, like, yeah, that sucks. And then she was like, she was, and then because like we we're on, we're not anymore because I like, tripped out and said to lower your tone because you have chlamydia. But um, we're not in the terms anymore. But um, she uh, <laughs> that 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 tends to happen. Huh, I'll, I'll <laughs> But no, we were on good terms. She was like, "It's so hard to sit; like it hurts." And I'm just like, inside, I'm like laughing, and I'm and I'm laughing, like sending it to her because it's funny. Like, bitch, that's your karma. That's what you don't cheat on me. Yeah, but yeah, so um, yeah, but uh, (laughs) that's what that's what I mean. The whole story. That's what I mean by keeping my emotions off the internet because. Mm. I'm 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 pretty emotional. Like I'm not anymore because she kind of fucked me up in terms of emotion. But um, and I'm very nonchalant now. But when I yeah, so just that's the one thing I try to keep away from the from people seeing like it's just emotions and then um like moves like just move move in silence. Like motherfuckers gonna see that shit by action. Yeah. Like nobody. I mean, I people knew I was going to L.A. and then I start posting pictures and videos with the G wagon and vet, and they're like, oh. So, yeah, oh, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like in a in a three story Airbnb. Oh shit! Like you know what I mean? I, I was to say like obviously like that's that's something that you don't really care much about, but it's the fact that you know that. Yeah. Once you post that picture, people are gonna see it yeah. and they're gonna engage with it. They're gonna be like, "Oh, we see you, sex. Yeah. You and we see what you're, you know, you, you know what yeah. I mean? Kind of like the fake love type shit." But like, Bro. at the end of the day, the, sorry, because no, no, go ahead. Of fucking DMs and fake love I received when I was in LA because motherfuckers seen I was doing shit. Ridiculous. <sighs> that shit so weak, bro. Yeah. Ridiculous. I, like, cool. It's, it feels good. Like, you gonna support me eventually. Like, yes. rather you support me now than never, but like, get off my dick. You know what I mean? <laughs> nah, like, nah, nah, yeah. Because like, fuck the social media it, shit. It's because you're fucking with me because you see what I'm doing now. Yeah. And they're not going to support you until you make it. Like, the real one's always going to support you, but like, you know, and it is what it is. Like, mm-hmm. I get it. You know, who the fuck wants to support some nigga from Flint that just be rapping like everybody else? But, like, you know. One day, bro. You just nah, gotta, yeah, bro. Right? But that's why, like I said, like, I don't want to speak too much on what I got coming up in terms of, like, the distro deal and stuff. Because if it doesn't happen, niggas going to look back. Ah, oh, this nigga just talk. Just talking. Yeah, you know yeah. What I mean? I'm just going to let this shit happen. Cause no, and, I, and I feel like that's, that's the thing, too, bro. Like, that's why, I, like, I want to start. I fuck with people that are making music. And beca- doing it for a good reason, yeah. because I know how much work goes into it, and I know yeah, how yeah. much time it takes, and I and I know that you have to sacrifice things to get to where you're at now, so to much. even get to the point where you can go yep. to LA. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like like we we're saying about followers and everything like that. Like, at the end of the day, like yeah, like <laughs> we keep track of it because it. I feel like it's you have to nowadays, bro. It, it's something for us that like oh now we see that. It's getting traction. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? But like regardless of the numbers and regardless of how many subs and followers we have, we're gonna we're gonna post this shit. Regardless. And that's yeah. that's what I've always tried to tell everyone a part of the gang. Like, it doesn't matter how many views this get. Don't worry about that. Worry yeah, about absolutely. that, like what we're doing behind the scenes. Like no one uh-huh. and no one needs to see that. Right. You know what I mean? Cause yeah. like they they'll they'll like like you know how they always say about like People in the league and shit, they see you get all the fame and glory once yeah. you're out there and you you fucking hit a three pointer to win the game, yeah. but nobody sees all the hours that you put Thanks. in to get to that point. Thanks. You know what I mean? So, it, I try to just tell that to everyone because at the end of the day, like what we have going and what you have going as an artist, because I, I feel it too. Like you make good music, and I like I feel the buzz popping off. Like like I said, I I, I know ZD and mm-hmm. uh, Psy like. They were kind of uh like I know he whenever it was a uh, ZD would chill over here he would be like oh it's stacks go and I was like like what what's that you know what I mean and then like go. and then like you started following us and I yeah. started listening I was like oh yeah like yeah. I feel it you know what I mean yeah. so it's it's dope bro like just stick with it because I know like you know it, it's all gonna yeah, pay stick off, to the bro. hustle bro you a lot, a, you got an ambitious you're like an ambitious guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, you, you got like to. you want you want the top, and that's the kind of attitude that you need yeah. to have, bro. You know, I saw some shit with like I'm sorry, I'm so, I saw some go. shit with like this boy Central. She was talking about. Uh, they asked him, uh, "Are you like a 
I forgot what they asked him, but his answer was like, yeah, I guess I am a bit delusional, like, because that's how I got to the top. Sometimes people don't believe you, or a lot of Facts. people aren't going to believe you, so you got to be like, like, oh, yeah. Bro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But he's like, to an extent, though, I'm not, you know, right. I know I'm not going to be the best, but in a way, I do got to have that kind of mindset of like, yeah, I deserve this. I'm going to be at the top. This is what I'm going to do Facts. type shit. And so I, I respect you for that. Nobody's you know? going to believe in you when you first start. So you yeah, hell yeah. Nobody you but you, bro. Nobody exactly. but you. At the end Facts. of the day, isn't nobody but you, bro. 100%. Retweet. All right, we're back from those commercial breaks. So you get right in it. I got three questions I'm going to ask you. All right. One I kind of already told you to think, think about before during the break. Uh -huh. But what's three of the most attractive women you've ever seen? Lotto. Y'all know she is the yeah, yeah. rapper Lotto. Yeah. She and I know that kind of goes back against my statement earlier about not being attracted uh, to black uh, women. Uh, but uh, wait, black, black what? Women. Oh okay. She's <laughs> she's she's light skin, and I don't know, bro. She's just hey sir. I fuck with her, and then there's no order either. Yeah. Um. And then the uh, second one I would say is Sydney Sweeney. Y'all know Ooh. who that is? Oh, okay, yes, I know who that is. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, I just she, she I just started bad. watching Euphoria. Euphoria. That's why. Yeah. yeah, she's so bro, she's so bro, bad. Do you know who uh, uh, Alexandra Daddario is? That's the mm. Percy Jackson. No, I did. She's a girl in the Percy Jackson and two. Uh, two could we get someone two, to look that up, blood. please? S sorry, dude. And then and then the third one though is Madeline Klein. I had to go with that. Okay. the girl that we yeah. Mad yeah. But uh, yeah, uh, Lotto, Sydney Sweeney, and Madeline Klein. All right, cool. So, All right, next question. What is one of the craziest dates you've ever been on? Craziest. Date you've ever been on? Mm. What? See, I don't really treat bitches like that, so <laughs> <laughs> I don't be taking them out on dates. I ain't gonna lie, like, um, but nah, the, I guess uh, craziest date, I, we, you know, book a hotel, you know, fuck on the balcony. Yeah, why, why don't why don't why don't you do uh, dates with girls? I don't feel like they deserve it. You gotta prove to me that you deserve my money and take like if I'm gonna take you out on like I don't even care if it's your birthday like I'm not taking you out on no expensive ass date if it's, you ain't deserve it if you What's, if you've been acting up and you really not that girl of a girl like good of a girlfriend I don't even I ain't gonna get my money. What's your uh, definition of like a good girlfriend? If you could just you <sighs> if know you, don't, it, you gotta support my music right. and genuinely too it can't right. just be no you know because I'm telling you too right. um and then just like. I don't know, like just we just like doing stuff together. I don't know, like, yeah. We just if you if you argue with me all the time, I can't do that. Sure. I don't got anger issues, but like one of these times, these bitches gonna piss me off, and I'm gonna end up, you know. Yeah. I can't do that. Yeah. So yeah. I gotta just let them go, bro. <laughs> <laughs> gotta just let them go. No, I just say that, like that toxic shit. Yeah. Like, some some I'm females toxic. really. I'm not even gonna fucking act like I'm not. I'm toxic. Yeah. But I don't like. I want you to see my toxic and put me in check and tell me chill the fuck out. That's mm -hmm. what I like. Hey, you okay. know your uh, girls are really big into what's that shit called? Astrology, astronomy. You know astrology. your not a single astrology bitch astrology. I've liked, bro. They're fucking crazy. What, what's what's yours? You know my sign. Yeah, yeah what's a Libra. Detective. It's Libra. Yeah. What what are they known for? Um, like loyalty no, and like that's hard true. work and shit and like which is crazy. Like here's the thing, bro. When I read. When I read on this stuff, like it's all true. Like my shit is true. Like it's <laughs> definitely it, it's definitely true. But the people who live their life by it, I don't know. I don't right. like. I wouldn't say that, but like females that live their life by it, crazy. Right. Right. Oh, ew! You're a, you're a Libra. Oh, we can't talk. What's your uh, What's your favorite <laughs> sign? <laughs> like, it seems like know, you know. Bro. It seems like you know something about it, though. It yeah, for sure. Because I like all what, the girls what's like your with, what What is it? What's your compatible sign? It's not a Virgo. I know that. Like, I, I there was one girl who was a Virgo, and it was not. Mm -mm -mm. It wasn't it. Nah, it wasn't. Why um, was it not it? Like, literally off a scale, off the scale that it said we weren't it. But um, we get into why'd this. you fall out with that Virgo? Uh, well, the chemistry just really wasn't there. Yeah, and I was bored. It was entertainment. All right. Yeah, um, point two. Let's share but, the um, questions here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My next question. Yes. Uh, what's the craziest conspiracy you believe in? Bro, there's not just one. There's not a crazy. It's like life in itself. In itself. Um, you believe aliens? You believe in aliens? Here's, here's, here's my take on that. I would say <laughs> I would say that. I would say like when people say that we're the only people in this universe, like bro, what people don't understand, and it scares some people, like bro, the, there, there's no fucking end to the universe. Like it's just, 
black like it's just it's just black space that like, is crazy like, bro, we're, in, we're in a ga- in a, in a, ga- in a uh, milky way you know in the, in the galaxy yeah. there's trillions of others like there's numbers we can't even fucking f- think about that like, is that's, crazy, like, if you bro. think that we're the only fucking people ever yeah no i think you're tripping yeah <laughs> like like that's my the conspiracy is like we're not alone yeah. like we may mm. never like bro Trillions of years online, we might come into contact eventually. Yeah. But like, bro. Hopefully, hope they listen to your music, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be crazy. What are they like? Hey, what are they? Stas, go! <laughs> That'd be crazy, bro. In whatever language they speak, yeah. bro. Yeah. That'd be crazy, yeah. No, nah, that would be fucking, yeah, that'd be wild. But no, nah, yeah, it's like, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, that's my thing. It's just, it's life in itself is the biggest conspiracy. Yeah. yeah. Really? Life in itself, bro. You think life's a simulation? Nah, I think it can manifest everything you want, though. Hey, I think boy. life's a simulation. Boy. I just think everything, sometimes everything goes too smoothly. Like, um, yeah, like, I, I don't know. I don't really know. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just more like, I don't think it's a simulation, but I think when you, when you, everything, here's my thing is what I tell people. Everything is energy, right? All the stars, all everything is electrons. Your brain's electrons. Everything is energy. So, like, literally everything is made out of energy and atoms. So when you, whatever you attract... That's what you going you gonna yeah. get. Like mm. not even like no man. If, like just literally off energy. Yeah, it's so, like what you put out is what you're gonna right. get. Yeah. Like, so oh, so what, so what Kevin Gates said. Kevin Gates said that we're made out of uh, protons and neutrons. Oh, we are, we're like, atoms, bro. No, yeah, we definitely are. Hold on, he said he said that by that power he was able to turn on his girl's shit, battery. Fucking, bro, you think yeah. you can hit that hole? <laughs> I ain't turning on no car battery. I'm not, not hell no. That nigga tweaking. I ain't gonna lie. But um, <laughs> uh, nah. I, right, so, so so now you're saying you don't believe in the protons and neutrons? But it's different. It's totally different. It's that different. nigga's tweaking. <laughs> That's just off straight tweak energy, bro. Like yeah, that I boy. In, he that boy was, hey, what he say? That boy said. Shit. That boy said. Hey, uh, eh, eh, if that shit wasn't true, murder my kids yeah, today. Bro, he put that on his. I was like, like what? That's crazy. Oh, hell no. Yeah, crazy. Okay, God crazy. murdered my children right now. Yeah, get, right get, now, get, get I ain't gonna lie. I don't, I ain't gonna, yeah, but get, back, but, but back where you were saying, uh, yeah, I mean everything is made off of electrons and energy, right. bro. Like stars, stars, like so. I don't know. To me, like we're just dust. We're star. Like, bro, we're so fucking. We the smallest the, thing on fuck, earth. You know yeah, what I'm saying, step, bro? So like, keep stepping. Wayne no, no, good, So um, so yeah, like I'm sorry. I don't know, like I feel like when we die, like I don't know if y'all believe y'all believe in God at all. Like yeah, y'all, like I'm, uh, I'm not religious at all. I believe in a high power. I believe in energy. I believe in in some sort of that. And so for me, it's like when we die, we're in our physical embodiment, but our brains and our electrons just get sent somewhere else. Now, if we come back millions of years later, when our energy is restored, so be it. But I feel like we're just, I don't know. That's my take. Man, yeah. you talking about like wow. the was you one of those intellectual motherfuckers? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not gonna, I, you know. I, obviously, like I said, this is the first time meeting you, yeah. so I didn't know what to expect. And I feel like uh, honestly, I feel like you'd be really into astrology. No, bro, I'm not, like I don't live by none no. Of that I, I think you are just a big. Uh, I'm just very like, bro. When it comes to recognizing and just like being whole and like there yeah. like that's, that's present who I am. Yeah, yeah you're present yeah, in sure. right sure. now you yeah. don't yeah because yeah. you literally bro like I, I don't know here's no, an example yeah, yeah. I was broke as fuck right before I went to LA $25 in my bank account and I bet I bet my last $25 on the Super Bowl on sports gambling bro hit for $225 went to LA I hit for like $400 while I was in LA and like I don't know like I had literally sat there and I was just like literally just thinking like oh, let me like I don't know bro it's weird, like, but if you if you if you're there mentally, like I don't know, you literally can just whatever you fucking want, bro. right? Yeah. It, no matter how long it takes, you are gonna get it eventually. Yeah, like, yeah. This music shit, I I was praying, bro. I just needed somebody to believe in me, like just like fuck the money and just believe in me. Mm-hmm. And my manager comes, TJ comes along with the videos. My business manager comes along and is helping me get a distro deal, like. All that other like it's just it comes eventually. Yeah, I guess so. You know, elaborating more on on that. Uh, you know, stacks go. What is what's your what plans do you have for the future? What What are the next things you're trying to accomplish and achieve? Um, next things definitely. Well, obviously, getting a, a, a distro deal for this this uh, single that I'm working on right now. Um, I just have to go get it mixed, but I'll, I'll play y'all like before I leave. I'll play all the song that it is. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, I gotta go get that mixed and then hope send that into labels and hopefully get a distro deal for that. And then on top of that, just like by the end of this year, 
I just want my whole team to eat. <laughs> yeah, just basically just like wanting to get everything together. Yeah. Like just, yeah. just finally climb to the top. Up. Yeah. Climb yeah. to the top. Yeah, yeah, like I said, bro, like it seems like you're 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 really driven and you have a plan. And that it's actually something I want to talk about. Uh I saw the your recent post on IG. You you did like you did the Nardwar shit, right? You're like, <laughs> who are yeah, you? Yeah. yeah, I'm stacked. Yeah, go. Like, bro, so I, yeah. I like that you did that because it it's marketing. Yeah. It's uh, yeah. trying to get your name out there. So what what was your what was the idea behind that? What made you want to do that? I just seen um, a, a Tusi edit. And I was like, bro, see, this is why I can't wait to start doing shows and all this stuff because I want to just put an edit together. Like, like, who, like, remember, you know, have you seen Lil Yachty's video where he was coming out dancing on the, like, Rolling Loud, I think yeah, it was? Yeah, and everybody's yeah. going fucking crazy, crazy bro. Yeah. Like, that shit gives me chill. Like, I can't wait to do that. And so it's like, for me, it was like, I'm going to work with what I got now. Like, I don't have a bunch of clips. Like, if I had a videographer that could just follow me around all fucking day and just get clips together, yeah. like, fuck, I love that. Like, I don't know. I just yeah. want to have content for people and like so I like literally what I was thinking about was like let me just make a quick edit and like me so I was like I put that together and I just I literally recorded on my phone that's fire like, bro yeah and then I just put everything together and, and premiere and yeah oh you got premiere yeah yeah okay yeah, you, so you be editing your oh, jack of all trades oh no. wow. uh, photography um I'm gonna bring that up while we talk about it but yeah photography was like my main thing I mean really? I, used to, I used to do YouTube all the time I used to do vlogging and stuff like that you say you used to stream stream bro stream, you used stream. To, I used to love streaming what'd you, wow. what'd you stream uh GTA RP okay really yeah for, and then Fortnite when it was you know, yeah, yeah like, when it was popping and yeah, shit yeah but like now I just be doing covers like um like for like albums and shit like that like I did a Quinn one like a mo I do motion cover art stuff like that. So I have been seeing that. Yeah. yeah. Like here's my uh photography page. Like for my like I, used to, I used to do car photography. Oh shit. Yeah. So like when it comes to all that stuff, graphic design, I that's used to that used to be what I wanted to do before I started mm. rapping. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's that's been yeah. Damn. Wow. Yeah. Okay. That's that's interesting. Bro, like that's what I'm saying. Like people until you meet me, bro, you'll never understand like I don't like I don't really show myself for real. Yeah. 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 So but it, that, that's by choice, obviously, right? That like I don't show myself? Yeah, that yeah, you don't like I don't really like you don't I don't really like I, I do want people to know me, but like at the same time I don't. But like going off of that kind of kind of switching subject, um that's where when my music was not doing as good as it is now, like even just like I went, I'm not fucking getting crazy streams, but like just a little, like I have a solid fan base now, like a little, you know. Mm -hmm. And but before that, I didn't know who I was, I didn't know what type of music I wanted to make, and I wasn't pushing out shit that was believable. And then I just started being myself, and that's when I seen it start coming in. You know what I'm saying? So like, when it comes to social media, I, I'm not very social on it, but like when I do post, I try, I tend to, you know, just yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would say you you do a good job of it. You know, you're going live on IG yeah. and you're you're posting, and yeah. that's good because like I feel like that's always been something for me too. Like, yeah. per personally, like for my personal social medias and shit, like I don't. At first, I was like, you know, Twitter was Twitter. You know, right, what right, I mean? right. like if you know, you yeah. know, if you followed me in like high school, you know. <laughs> but like after that, like once I like came college and shit, like I wasn't really tweeting yeah. and shit, and like I was kind of keeping to myself, and then wanting to build a brand and trying to like show people this is what we do. Like right. you kind of that. That's why I asked that question to a lot of people because it's like I feel like I kind of go through it with with myself and trying to like mm -hmm. build my personal brand up of course and then building like a business brand up at the mm -hmm. same time it's yes, uh, it's something that like i've been thinking about it's like how much am i willing to put my personal stuff out there on the internet and what i'm right. wanting to keep to myself that right. that i feel like that's why I'm, i always ask that question because like it's something that i deal with a lot like i don't know if i should really let all like the fucking internet know what's going on in my life right. and because obviously I don't tell everybody everything. You know what I mean? Like if if I'm close to you, I'll tell you pretty much everything. But like anything prior to that, I'm like to myself. Like how how you, right. it sounds like you are. You know yeah, what I mean? Bro, like I yeah, because like especially I don't know. People like to use shit against you. So like I like I don't be I don't be telling people a lot of stuff, deep stuff, unless I really trust you. Because you know, like some shit. Like bro, I can blow up. Next week, motherfuckers gonna start bringing up text messages or oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, just people just don't have good intentions or their intentions are to just fuck you over down the road. So it's yeah. like that's why I'm very 
weary on who. Yeah, you're like, yeah. Uh, you pick and choose who yeah. you, like, you talk to. And I might to. be a dick, and then, I mean, but, like, at the same time, I just have to be, like, I just got to be smart. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, was, I feel like I'm the same way, and I, I, I feel like I go about that the same way, too, but, like, uh, I had told my mom that, and she was like, no, you're not a dick. Like, you just know what you want in life. And My mom calls me a dick. Really? She said, she's like, yeah, you changed so much. I was like, I mean... I'm not your little kid no more. Like, yeah, yeah I, don't I mean, tell you. oh, bro, fucking, that's a whole other con. Like, <laughs> I, pa- right, right. parents and yeah. shit. Like, I had asked them. Like, I guess I'll ask you as well. Like, what what are <clears throat> the things that you're gonna do as a parent that your parents didn't do for you as a child? Uh damn, 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 damn. Yeah, uh, <laughs> probably. Um, <laughs> Transparency, uh, not like my my dad was more of a you gonna learn as you go, like you gonna fuck up and you gonna be down bad, but you gonna learn. Like, but my mom was more of a ground ground, like she'll ground me up, bro. I was grounded all the fucking time. I was never able to hang out with friends, and so like for me, I'm not gonna do that because that's just gonna create a love hate relationship with your child, and it's like they gonna want to rebel against you. Like for me, bro, if my kid wants to smoke, bro, if my kid came to me freshman year, fourteen years old, like hey, I, like I want to start smoking or like whatever. I'd be like, listen, you can at home, but and like be smart with it. Yeah. Like, let me know though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want them to go behind my back, start doing other drugs, trying to be sneaky about it, going out, get in trouble with the police and law. Like, I'm not trying to do all that. Yeah. You want to drink? Fifteen? Like, I might, you know, a little bit. It's like, if you're doing, if you're doing good in school, because I was never, bro, I wasn't, I, I did shit, bro. I barely graduated high school. Where? I ended up. There's this place called. Um, Mass, it's like the master's something and like it's this you literally go pay $300 you take a test you get your high school diploma because I had like 12 credits as a senior bro I didn't I fuck school like go to <laughs> you were just like skipping this shit or? yeah bro and like because I would always just be making music writing music in the back of class because that shit was so useless for what I wanted to do I knew mm. I wanted to make music mm. so that shit never applied to me and like I was, I'm a smart kid it's just like yeah I, I mean never you gotta get a head on your shoulder I never sure. did none of that shit and like so for me it's like all right like, I want my children to at least do good in high school because if you want to go to college, you can. But, like, I understand if they don't. But, mm-hmm. like, here's the thing, too. Like, I want to have a business already set up, set up for them anyway. So, mm-hmm. you know. But, like, yeah. If they're doing good in school and they're taking care of what they got to get taken care of, then feel free, smoke, whatever you want to do. I'm not going to be like my parents where they're like, no, 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 no. It makes you want to rebel, be sneaky. I ain't mm-hmm. going to do all that. So, yeah, that, that's. That's probably. Yeah. Transparency. Yeah. I feel like that's. I want to buy my kid a, their first car at 16 because my parents were never able to. Um, just yeah, bro. Just have a good relationship. Don't say no all the time and listen to them. Like I had so many like dreams and ideas that got shot down because like they just don't understand shit now, yeah. bro. Like my to, mom, like to this day, my my dad was way is more supporting than my mom with this music stuff. But because my mom just doesn't understand and she's so worried about me, she wants me to like go get a job and work. This and I'm like, my I ain't gonna do that. If I got to struggle until I'm 30 years old and I make it, yeah. I struggle until I'm 30 and I make it. Like. I just can't give up. So, um, you know, it, it is what it is. I just want to have that good relationship. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely, bro. Yeah. Anything else, boys? Got any other questions? I'm great. This was solid, bro. Solid for sure. Hell yeah. yeah. Thanks, thanks for coming on. I was Thank like, you guys for having me. You're yeah. really like, you know, structured and put together like for doing this. Is, bro, know, I know I'd be bouncing first around. That's this? my 80. Yeah, yeah. Damn. First time, never been on a podcast before. Hey, shout out. Hey. Shout out. Well, appreciate the first. That, yeah, yeah, thanks yeah, for uh, letting one. us pop your chair. Thanks for coming on, bro, for real. Like, yeah, we really do appreciate it. Um, yeah. You know, if you ever need anything, hit us up. You know, yeah. I I want to, I want uh, like PCT to be a platform for everybody, not even yeah. just for like me or my boys. I want it to be for. You know, people that I fuck with personally or who any anybody yeah. that's a part of this fucks with so that we could put each other on yeah. and we could help each other out. Like, I want it to be a community. You know what I mean? Sure. Like, I feel like that's what you were saying yeah. uh, that Flint didn't have is a community base. And yeah, like, yeah. you know, Austin has a little bit. But like you said, at right. the end of the day, I feel like it's just like something as like dudes, you know, like yeah. regardless of. Uh, who we are or what we have like it's kind of hard for someone to fuck with someone else before they're super popping because it's like oh they're like dick riding and shit you know what I mean like they kind of like are too prideful and stuff like that but I want this to be a platform for everybody so speaking of just one more thing before we end talk to I you. literally he was one of my good friends talked every day I literally blocked him and cut him off just because he's always like 
ever since when I got back from LA, I was like, yeah, I can't be around none of that negative energy no more. And like, that's all he be on. And like, he don't really support for us. So I blocked him. I cut him off. Like one of my good friends too. Really? Like just a couple days ago. Yeah. Cause Damn. I mean, you got to keep moving forward. You can't have that. Yeah. So you can't be around all that. Yeah. Shit yeah, yeah. That you you, you got to have, you, you got to have the people around you that you're trying to like, be like yeah or like bring up and shit you know what yeah, i mean like sure. so but no yeah so like i said bro appreciate you coming on it was appreciate a great pod uh definitely gonna be in touch yeah like i'll I said, be back soon like before yeah I, I'm a, before summertime when i drop my album i definitely i want to come back yeah bro appreciate like i said you you pull up anytime you know what i mean like i said i fuck with you you know you're you're a good dude you got a good head on your shoulder you make great music and appreciate like i said i i, I want to be able to help my homies and help whoever you know like get their name out there and show that like there's talented motherfuckers in the city you know what i mean oh yeah put austin on the map bro yeah you know what i mean and um and like yeah i definitely when people ask me where i'm from where i came out of i'm not even i don't don't rep flint bro right yeah you you say austin the love that i got from there was zero yeah so but austin has shown me so much love so yeah it's, it's awesome what's 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 uh where'd you grow up in austin what's your zip code leander 78641 oh okay. yeah i wasn't like austin austin uh yeah he's still though so like yeah he's from you, austin you. austin yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so speak, speaking of your music do you have anything dropping like anything soon for like mm. the listeners to look out um, for i just dropped melrose um uh-huh. friday on what's the date uh what's what's friday's date uh, is that it's it's March for sure. It's March third. I have a video yeah. dropping on YouTube called Business Talk, shot in LA. We have that dropping. We have another video called Couple Mo dropping. Uh, probably sometime in April. Oh, yeah, okay. I got a couple drops. Um, yeah, coming soon. An album in the summertime. E- yeah. okay. I guess do y'all. Do you have any questions for us? Or no, nah, I think yeah. I just appreciate you guys having me on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, bro. Thanks coming for coming on, on again. Hell yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Leave a five star on all streaming boom, platforms. Boom, boom. Uh, we really appreciate everybody. Um, big things coming soon. Dallas Here. vlog it, dropping soon. If you know, you know. We did okay. a lot of podcasts with the opinionated boys. Shout out to them. You know what I'm saying? That's family. And um, stay tuned for the fast lanes. The uh, Last of Us playthroughs, shorts dropping uh, more consistently, and we'll see y'all next time. Boo, see you. Peace. Love you. Sir. Love you. Deuces. Love you, peoples. Boo, 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 boo. Bye. 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 Bye.